Hey, hi, welcome to the series of A Spy sessions. So, I am Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spy expert. So, today we would like to deal with supply monitoring or ACU for process area. Let us get into the details of the process area in upcoming slides. So, the purpose of the soft of the supplier monitoring process is to track and assess the performance of the supplier against agreed requirements so it's like we have a set of requirements which are defined in the beginning of the in the beginning for a for a supplier uh, by your quality management system or uh, uh, there is a sort of uh, set of uh, the performance activities or uh, like uh, the minimum criteria which is set by for, for the custom for the supplier so the a supplier need to fulfill all the uh, performance uh, uh, activities which are uh, defined as a part of your qms and we need to track and assess the performance of the supplier as well the process outcomes are joint activities as agreed between the customer and the supplier are performed as needed uh, so these joint activities may be your joint reviews or your status reporting activities to the customer or these kind of things so all information agreed upon for exchange is communicated regularly between the supplier and the customer so it's like if you have a supplier then you will get the status report or uh, this the status or everything will be communicated with you as a customer so if you are a supplier to the customer then you need to give uh, the information which is needed by the customer so the performance of the supplier is monitored according against the agreement so each and every supplier will have their own agreement so uh, for or your uh, statement of work document uh, so whatever is in the scope of the uh, supplier's work so based on the agreements or the based on the contracts which are made with the with the supplier so we need to monitor their performance uh, so if you are uh, if you give the work to the supplier or if you are a supplier then your customer will monitor your activities so and then changes to the agreement if needed are negotiated between the customer and the supplier and documented in the agreement so in case so uh, initially you will have a contract document right so or the uh, or the agreement between uh, uh, between the supplier and the customer or the client so if you have any change on the scope of the work then you need to get it a formal approval from the customer so your best practice one talks about agree on and maintain joint processes joint interfaces and information to be exchanged establish and maintain an agreement on information to be exchanged and on joint processes and joint interfaces responsibilities type and frequency of joint activities communications meetings status reports status reports and reviews so these are the joint ventures or the joint processes uh, they have listed out so joint interfaces joint processes responsibilities type of type and frequency of the joint activities communications either it is an email or any other uh, verbal communication or uh, you know um, joint reviews or your status reporting or this all comes into the picture like as a part of your contract only like you will have a part of you will have as a part of the milestone delivery and your status reports the everything will be uh, will be discussed in detail in the as a part of your agreement or the uh, as, uh, as a part of your uh, as a part of your contract itself so we need to get an agreement in uh, agreement between the client or the customer and the supplier both together have to sign in that particular document okay and bp2 or your base practice 2 talks about exchange all agreed information use the defined joint interfaces between customer and supplier for the exchange of all agreed information so how you are gonna 
uh, exchange your information so what is the configuration management tool or uh, so you you will have a joint access system or uh, uh, how how you are gonna exchange the information so either it is a work product or either it is a information needed from the from the supplier these all to be defined and these all to be agreed and that's a part of your information so your uh, contract will have the details of your problem resolution management your requirement management change management configuration management so what are the tools you will use for all these things uh, quality assurance your project management the customer acceptance this all things will be discussed as a part of your contract document so the joint activities uh, are also discussed as a part of your contract document so when exactly the supplier need to give the inputs or uh, the um, outcomes of their uh, activity uh, as an input to the customer at particular frequency by defining the milestones inside the contract document itself so the uh, the next thing is like uh, uh, we need to get uh, or we need to um, assess the assess the supplier we need to track the progress of the suppliers in terms of uh, tracking so the performance of the supplier to be tracked in the free in a particular frequency so either like a weekly you will have a status call or monthly you will have a governance call or monthly you will have or quarterly you will have a business uh, calls so this all will happen based on the frequency defined so your best practice tree talks about review technical development with the uh, with the supplier so this is called joint review uh, so review development with the supplier on the agree reg on the agreed regular basis covering technical aspects problems and risks and or the also also track open items to closure so in case so some of the some of my projects uh, so do this activity on daily basis also so some of my projects will do on uh, weekly twice or uh, you know weekly also weekly once also or uh, fortnightly also so based on the criticality of the project so this review technical review uh, is defined so in general in most of the cases it will be uh, it will be daily or uh, weekly once daily once or the weekly once or so uh, so ACQ4, uh, BP4 or the base practice 4 talks about review progress of the supplier. Uh, so this is about uh, the status reporting activities. So what are the activities which are assigned to the, to, to the supplier and what is the status of the state, status of those activities, what they did in the previous week, what they are doing in this current week and what they are going to do it in the next week also. We will have the... Uh, part of the weekly uh, weekly status calls we will have uh, um, we will we will have monthly status calls also or the quarterly status calls also uh, on the uh, the stakeholders will differ uh, so weekly is like direct point of contact from the client or uh, you know uh, in case of monthly the client uh, manager manager will attend that uh, monthly call in case of quarterly call the bu head will attend the call so in the status report you will have the schedule you will have the quality related aspects and you will have the cost or the budgeting re budgeting related information which is the which should be there in the, as a part of your status report bp5 talks about act to correct deviations so take action when agreed objectives are not achieved to correct deviations from the agreed project plans and prevent recurrence of the problems identified negotiate changes to objectives and document them in the agreement so your bp5 talks about uh, if there is any deviation in the performance of the supplier uh, if there is any deviation in the agreed work product which is to be given by the supplier then uh, there is a deviation so if, if that is the case then the supplier need to take action to correct those deviations uh, and uh, based on that he need to change the project plans or the tenure or the schedule of the project to be corrected and uh, even uh, the problem root cause to be identified and we need to prevent the reoccurrence of the problem also uh, supplier need to 
prevent the reoccurrence of the problem and uh, and he need to negotiate on the changes to the objectives as well when there is when the customer says like uh, see we are adapted to adapted with the changes but wherein like you know if the changes are more frequent then the progress will be very limited right so if we we are open to uh, open to changes but wherein like uh, we sh we should not be always be open to the changes so negotiate changes to objectives and the document them in the agreements okay uh, so what are the output output work products you will have a commitment or the contract or the agreement uh, so as an outcome or SOW we, we will call statement of work or the acceptance record so uh, acceptance record uh, will have an email email saying from the client like it is accepted kind of or assigned in general we will have assigned contract or signed agreement by both of the even uh, the customer and even the supplier also and we have communication record communication record may be your email or your status report uh, minutes of meeting or the meeting support record is a minutes of meeting or the progress uh, status report status record is a st status report which is shared to the customer either in a word excel or the ppt or a part of email also as an email body also and a change request so if there is any in case of any change so we need to track it as a change request change request and we need to track it as a change request record should be there and your review record a uh, review record in case of joint reviews like which is done by the customer in case of technical and non-technical aspects as well so corrective action register so in case of any deviations by the supplier then uh, supplier need to give the corrective action and the tracking to the closure record to the customer and the analysis report so analysis report analysis in, in terms of your metrics in terms of your corrective actions in terms of your uh, or in terms of your deviations I can say or uh, in terms of your uh, so all this analysis report so this may be an outcome of the of this particular process area uh, so I came to the end of this concept. So if you have any doubts on this concept, so you can write to me at any time uh, to my email. So I will give response uh, accordingly. And uh, if you like this concept, so please press on the like button. If you want any further um, concepts from the automotive, so subscribe to my channel. You'll get more and more videos on automotive. Thank you.